Uh, so what is it what is it going to take for these families uh, to win these competitions? What are you looking for? You know, I, I want to look at an act and visualize them on that stage 30 years from now. You know, I want a, an act that I feel is rooted in music like they cannot live without making music, which is the beauty of this show, because most families who are sitting around in their living room making music, they're doing it just because they love it. They're not anticipating some TV show coming along saying, hey, <laughs> we're going to showcase you. So it was like a really inspirational show for that reason. But, you know, I was really looking for, of course, the vocal ability, that it factor. You just kind of knew when somebody, especially like when the lead singer of the group would open their mouth, you'd be like, I'm witnessing something great. And usually the kids knew it in the audience and the adults who were kind of in the grandstands would spontaneously stand up and give a standing ovation. It's like there, were, there was that caliber of talent on the show. I mean, so I was really looking for all of those things. And of course, if they were a harmony group, tight harmonies and all of that, but beyond the technical, I wanted that magic. You know, I really wanted that star quality and, and, and something that told me that they would have the stamina to endure in this business. Yeah, so and I know the grand prize is a record deal and two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Do you remember what it was like preparing for an opportunity like that? Take us into that that time of your meeting with them and them getting ready for this. What hi. What's it like to you? Yeah, I mean like you saw what just happened when you said like it really takes me back because I was twelve years old thinking I would die if I didn't have a record deal by thirteen. And so, you know, and I got my record deal at sixteen, but you use the right word. It's how to like preparation. It's like how do you prepare for that moment? And I remember even like I was doing theater, I was doing um, TV commercials, and I actually remember making a conscious decision as a young teenager to pull the plug on all of that and just focus on my music because I was laser focused on getting that deal and writing and writing hits. And um, it took every bit of commitment that I had. And I was, you know, training vocally and just demoing a song a day in my garage and living it and breathing it. And I think that a lot of these acts were doing the same when this opportunity came along because they were all really like poised and ready for that stage. I mean, I was really blown away by how many of the groups didn't seem to, if they, if they had nerves going, they hit it really well. I mean, like a lot of the times we were like, wow, me and Sierra especially were like, we're at a concert right now. And David Dobrik, who's a huge music fan, and Nick Lachey, who's been in the industry forever, we were all like, is this really happening on this show? I mean, it's powerful, powerful talent.